second, so that helped. All right, again, come back under here under Turbo Smooth. Okay, and we're gonna come under here and say Smoothing Groups. Now we have enough resolution in here, and again, you can come back in here and alter these if you don't believe me, that when we are, um, when we just do the Turbo Smooth by itself, sometimes we might not even get pinching anywhere, but it's good to do this, um, to have it respect the smoothing groups. And this is also really nice because you can come back into these objects and play around with how many segments or whatnot are going on into the object to try and get some cool shapes. After you do that, drop Turbo Smooth on there and you'll get some pretty nice um, intersections. Again, now we went through and we made this pretty harsh, but you can see that transition here is smooth. Um, now let's grab under here this guy, and this guy might be a little low resolution, so we might need to change him. Actually, that didn't work too bad. Um, and again, this operand will work off of um, you know subtraction objects and that kind of stuff too, um, which is kind of nice. So we'll do that really quick too. And again, for any of these boolean opera operations it's going to require you to retopo it, so just just do it. You're going to have to do it anyway. Um, but it's also resolution dependent, okay? So, and what I mean by that, I'm going to save because you always want to save this. Because um, it is a little unstable. This isn't as good as Mesh Fusion or anything like that, but this is a nice way to get some of those forms that Mesh Fusion gives you inside of Max. Also, ZBrush is probably another really good um, tool to use for this as well. Subtract, add you. And again, you can see it just added that. Now again, I can come under here on, under the booleans, find that operand, find that uh, cylinder here, and adjust accordingly, right? And we'll we'll see um, the topology result obviously change. Now, if we're having, which I think we are, we're having some issues down here, some pinching. Um, Hopefully we can smooth this stuff out. We don't want to go too heavy on the turbo smooth just because it'll make the system unstable and it will crash. But, you know, let's see, let's go 24. That helped out. So, and again, you can move these operands around as well. And we should see this stuff update and move as well, which again is pretty nice. Um, Again, this isn't something you want to do for all your surfaces. I'm telling you right now not to do that for all your surfaces, but there are some shapes, especially mechanical shapes, that it's, I would say, it's almost damn near impossible to get without doing this stuff. You're going to spend um, a ton of time trying to figure out how to get them to work. Um, and booleans are potentially a really nice um, way around them, and they're pretty fast. Um, as again, as you can see, that's, I mean, it's not 100% perfect. We got a little bit of pinching in here that we can, you know, solve. Um, but for the most part, it's uh, it's pretty solid, and it and it works. And it's not destructive um, as long as you don't collapse your um, modifier stack. Which for uh, for us in Max Land, we're going to try to avoid that like the plague. And if you do need to collapse your modifier stack, I encourage you save out a separate file. Um, you know, a non-collapsed version. I cannot tell you how many times, especially in production, I'm like, oh, I'm never going to need this again. And sure as hell, I, I collapse it. I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had this thing saved. So, there you go. That's a little bit of adjustment to try and get this thing to um, be exactly what we want. But we can do it pretty easily, too. You know, we can just play with it. And again, adjusting each of these has varying degrees of control on what it does. Okay, so that's one way to kind of do that whole mesh fusion um, thing.